what it's called the cipher in Pakistan, the alleged leaked diplomatic cable uh, from the embassy here. It is not accurate. But it is not the U.S. saying that so, Prime Minister Khan, then Prime Minister Khan, has to should leave office. Is that I, is that correct? It, it, close-ish. I can't speak to the veracity. Close-ish. close-ish then I'll explain. It at no point. At no point does it accuse the United States government or me personally of taking steps against Imran Khan. We then have the vote tabulation system, and they have banned the bat, the symbol of the PTI. Then they banned the batsman. I mean, there have been flaws in other Pakistani elections, but this is uh, perhaps uh, the greatest uh, flaw. Uh, and we're told, and the Pakistani ambassadors told me, well, this is just the ordinary working of the Pakistani judicial system. Do we have faith that uh, uh, Imran Khan has not been the victim of selective prosecution? There's one thing you need to do. The American ambassador needs to visit Imran Khan in prison and make sure that he lives to tell the tale of how he was wrongfully imprisoned uh, through selective prosecution. I yield back. The voters have displayed their commitment to participating in the process, despite allegations of fraud and interference in the recent election, the people of Pakistan showed up to vote in unprecedented numbers, which is very positive. Um, However, I was deeply concerned by well-documented instances of interference in the February elections, including a terrorist attack at a candidate's political office's uh, hours before the polls opened, Um, and and also a major internet and cell service shutoffs on election day. These events are serious and consequential. I've called for a full investigation in any allegations of interference Uh, or corruption in their recent elections. And I'll be watching closely to see how these irregularities are being addressed. Additionally, human rights in Pakistan must be respected for democracy to thrive. The failure to recognize basic human rights will unquestionably lead to a downward spiral. If human rights are ignored, the prospect of a democratic society will evaporate. And I hope that we can, uh, after this hearing, continue the work of making sure that we actually fully investigate the election and that we actually make sure people are let out of jail that were put in there that sh- that, um, unfairly because democracy in Pakistan, of course, will serve the people of Pakistan, but it is so clearly in the United States' interest. I started out on this seeing the failures we had in Latin America of prioritizing military relationships over democratic relationships and it never served us there and it won't serve us in Pakistan very well. So thank you so much. Do you believe that the recent election was free and fair? Um, Sir, we have never used the term free and fair in the characterization of this election. In Pakistan, we need Imran Khan. Free and fair by the death in Pakistan. Yeah, you